At a time when slavery was legal in the United States, and even free black people could not enjoy the full rights of citizenship, why did 200,000 African Americans sign up to fight for the Union during the American Civil War? At the outset of the war, the abolition of slavery was not a war aim for the Union. But many African Americans saw the conflict as an opportunity to fight for citizenship. Let the black man get an eagle on his button, said social reformer Frederick Douglass, and none could deny him the right of citizenship. Deeply rooted racism meant that African Americans had been barred from bearing arms in the U.S. since the Militia Act of 1792. President Abraham Lincoln feared that lifting the ban could prompt slaveholding states in the North to secede from the Union and join the Confederacy. As the war progressed, calls for black enlistment grew among abolitionists, while the number of white volunteers signing up to the Union Army decreased, leaving the military short of personnel. The Militia Act of 1862 allowed black men to serve in non-combat roles, but it was the Emancipation Proclamation that finally opened the Union Army to black soldiers and triggered a surge in recruitment among both free black men and the formerly enslaved. Around 180,000 signed up to serve in the Union Army, making up 10% of all fighters, while 20 to 30,000 bolstered the ranks of the Navy at sea. Black soldiers served in segregated commands. They often received inadequate equipment, less pay, and poor medical treatment compared to white soldiers. But they showed immense bravery, proving vital in many Union victories. So why does it matter? The bravery and sacrifice of black volunteers not only helped to abolish slavery and win the American Civil War, but three years later, the 14th Amendment finally granted African Americans the citizenship they so deserved. Were African Americans treated as full citizens after the Civil War? 